E.G. Bateman. Elaine, welcome to Behind the Fiction. Hi, Steve. This is so exciting to have you here. I think you are the first person I've ever interviewed who has that shade of hair. Oh, excellent. Oh, well, <laughs> unfortunately, there was a, there's a bunch of us, so you'll get around to more blue-haired people sooner or later, I think. You change your shade from time to time, don't you? Because I've seen it oh. in different colors. Yeah, at um, 20 Books Vegas, it was purple and um, aquamarine and dark blue and lilac and a bit of green. <laughs> well, it looks fantastic. So where <laughs> are you? I, I sense this accent. You don't sound like me, so you must live somewhere else. Where are you physically in the world? I'm in the UK, in England, in Solihull, which is in, in the Midlands. Okay. And are you on lockdown where you are? Oh, yes. Yes. So we've been in, on lockdown for about five weeks, I think. We're in, we're in the fifth week. Okay. And are you able to get out and enjoy the sunshine occasionally, things like that? Or are you just really stuck inside? Oh, we're, we're really lucky. We've, we've got a garden and, uh -huh. and I've, I've just put the hot tub up. <laughs> so, so, you know, do what you like virus. I'm, I'm staying in and I'm happy to do so. But, um, but yeah, and I've got my husband and son and they, they do the shopping trips and things. So, so good. No, I don't go anywhere. And a week ago, you published your first book with LMBPN. That I did. was uh, the title of that is Legacy of the Shadow's Blood, which is also the name of the series. So it's book one in the Legacy of the Shadow's Blood series, and the title is Legacy of the Shadow's Blood. Correct. So tell us a little bit about the idea for the book. Where did the idea come from? Um, well, it. It came out of um, some uh, some conversations between uh, me and Michael mm -hmm. um, and Lee. Um, I'd I'd gone over to um, to Bali, and, and and so that was gushed. twenty twenty books Bali. And yes. this is you. I, I was going to ask you about this because you tell a fantastic story in the author notes for this book, and that was <laughs> the first time I I had understood the extent that you'd gone to. <laughs> <laughs> to put yourself in range of Mr. Anderley. So why, yeah. yeah, why don't you tell that story? Oh, it, it was, it was risky. It's not something I'd recommend to God, anyone else. Um, <laughs> uh, because uh, as you know, 20 books Bali was for sort of six and seven figure authors um, as kind of a, a it was a, um, an educational thing for them for, um, uh, for how to step up their game. Mm -hmm. uh, like they need it um, <laughs> and 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 a kind of a pat on the back for them so so um dodgy dodgy little nobodies like me weren't generally intended to go there <laughs> i love that dodgy <laughs> <laughs> but because um i'm an administrator in the 20 books group i was in a good place to learn when someone had dropped out mm -hmm. and um and i commented to um craig martell one day, oh, I wish I could go. And he was like, well, you might as well. So um, uh, me and my husband, we, we, um, we had some savings that were, were, were basically from, from my mum passing a couple of years ago. So, um, so I just threw that at it and, mm -hmm. uh, and we flew halfway around the world. I don't know how I talked him into it. I honestly don't. Mm -hmm. And um, my, my main objective making the assumption that I wasn't going to understand a lot of what they were talking about. My main objective was to, um, was to pass this. It wasn't even a full manuscript. I had a, like four chapters of something I'd been working on mm -hmm. into, into Michael's hand. And, um, and yes, as, as I describe it in, in the author notes, uh, it was at the end of a session and, um, and I thought I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now because everyone was filing out of the room. So I go and stand near where michael is and he's um he's still there talking to um uh ellie l lee clark ellie clark i can't remember mm -hmm. her last name um and and I, I think oh they're just chatting they'll be moving out soon and and i'm standing there with this paper in in my sweaty little hand and and i'm waiting and i'm thinking oh this is this is a meeting 
<laughs> I suddenly realized that they're having a meeting and I'm standing there like there's three people in this room and I'm standing there in the middle of someone else's <laughs> meeting. And it was just, and then by the time I'd realized that they'd, um, they'd been talking so long that it felt weird if I left. Yeah. You were and committed. It was weird at that point. if I stayed, I was committed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and and I didn't weird. think my legs had moved. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so I just stood there. Then, um, then they, they started what I thought was arguing and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> you know, it turns out this is how these two communicate. They banter like this. And, uh, and then eventually, um, and I'm standing there thinking, Michael, just look my way, just look my way and I'll shove it in your hand and I'll run away. <laughs> but eventually he, um, they, they broke up their conversation and, um, and Michael turned around to me and he was so kind. He didn't say, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> you know, and I expected him to, um, because at that point I was, I felt I was so rude. And so I shoved it in his hand and I explained a little bit and then I ran away and, um, I didn't expect him to read it while we were there because that would have been awkward as well, expecting him to do it, you know, while mm -hmm. we were on this break thing. And, um, and he just, uh, he was, he was so gracious about it and it was, but I was still, I still felt awkward. So at one point, um, I was walking through the, through the area where all the swimming pools were. It was one of those where there were lots of swimming pools. And there was a little bridge over a swimming pool that I was about to walk over. And I saw Michael coming the opposite way. And I was like, oh God, what if he speaks to me? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. And I walked through the swimming pool <laughs> to avoid him. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. I mean, it wasn't as bad as it sounds because, oh. you know, I was... Um, I was wearing shorts, so it's not like well, that's, I was that's fully a clothed. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I didn't go like neck deep or anything. You know, I don't want to give that impression. Although, you know, <laughs> take that impression if you like, if it's more <laughs> amusing for you. But yeah, it was, it was horrific. <laughs> well, that, that, is a, that is a great story. And it, it kind of ex explains, you had published some books before that. You had published another series. I think they were young adult books. Yes, that's right. Prior the Fader that. series. So yeah. You weren't like coming to this as someone who had never written anything before. You'd had some success and uh, I mean, you were still nervous about it. And for people, for people who don't know, there's 20 books Vegas, which is like the least expensive, most valuable conference that you can go to for, oh, yeah. for, yeah. for indie authors. And mm -hmm. then there was a 20 books um, in the UK somewhere that uh, there, there have been a couple of, of those, London. 20 books, London. Um, mm -hmm. And then the one in Bali was just this big, massive thing. It's super expensive. And hey, it's like, you know, this is, this is for, like, like you said, the, the six-figure author. So it's, yeah. don't confuse the Bali situation with the Vegas situation. There were oh, maybe, no. how, many, how many people there? Maybe 30? Um, I think there were about 40 people. Okay. And, uh, and I'm not sure if that includes... Um, partners but yeah um, so it, it's a much yeah. more it's a much smaller more intimate gathering but a great place to go to get FaceTime with somebody oh yes oh gosh yes but um I wish I'd known a lot of the people beforehand because I, I, I spent half my time intimidated just talking to my husband you know <laughs> because I was thinking oh you know like that's that's like that's a millionaire I can't talk to them and I'm, I'm looking around for for people who like were willing to speak about just normal stuff. <laughs> you know, the, the, the most fun thing to me about the 20 books conferences, and I did not go to Bali, but it, it's the fact that there are so many people there who are all in the same boat that you were, which is the, they're not going to want to talk to me. So I just walk up to everybody and start talking to everybody because I know everybody wants someone to talk to them. And it's the easiest yes, exactly. place in the world to start conversations. And you make such you know, great friends with people and then you get to see them every year. I hope we get to see them. I hope we get to see them this year. I hope, hope oh. we're able to, to have the conference. Hold that coffee cup up again. People wouldn't have been able to see it. You have to speak so the camera will go to you. Okay. Hello. <laughs> this, is, this is my cup and it's got the cover of my, my book. And, um, and on the back, it's got, uh, a little demon called Limpet, who's one of the characters. 
And the main character, her name is Lexi? Yes. So that's Lexi on the cup? Uh, that's Lexi on the cup, yes. Very Definitely. good. Excellent. Excellent branding. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now tell us about the book. So we know, we know what links you went to, to, to be able to write this book with, with Michael mm -hmm. as a co-author. And now tell us about how you go from four chapters to a mammoth 180, 190,000 word book as, as your first release. There's a lot of yeah. work that goes between four chapters and 190,000 well, words. Well, even more because... Um, uh, Michael wanted to start with something fresh, so um, so I that's still four chapters sitting mm -hmm. on my computer somewhere. Uh, we didn't go with that one. We uh, uh, we had some Zoom chats and and bantered forward and backwards about the characters, about what what interested me, the kind of people I like to read about, um, and and it was. Uh, I like the kick-ass female. I like urban fantasy with the shifters and the vampires. Um, I like to be um, inclusive. You know, I like, I like gay characters in my world and different ethnicities. Mm -hmm. And um, and what else? I, I like. I also like to read uh, like other types of fiction, like uh, crime fiction things. You know, and, and I like those um, those bitter hard bitten detectives and and things like that so it's it was a whole a whole mishmash of things that and we put all of that into into these stories and and we just bantered um it started out with um michael michael's i think this was uh this was typewritten i think we weren't talking at this point and 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 he sent over a few lines that <clears throat> of dialogue that he imagined a character would write, and um, and I came back with uh, with another character's response in the dialogue, and we just went forward and backwards for a couple of hours mm -hmm. in this in this um, snarky, um, sarcastic conversation between two characters, and um, and it was really fun. And that was how they were born. That's very, that's very cool. And I, I, I'm reminded, I talked to Michael when he, after he first, I think he'd written the third book in the Cartharian Gambit series. Mm -hmm. And at that time, he described what he did as, well, I like reading this kind of book. I like reading sci-fi. I like reading paranormal. I like reading military. I like, you know, I, I like strong female characters. I, I like a sense of justice and I just kind of munged them all together in this thing that didn't really have a genre and I started writing and I didn't know if it would sell. It sounds like you kind of did the same thing. You took a yeah. lot of things together and it really, it, it comes together. It's, it's very obvious from the first line or, or one of the early lines in your blurb, which is describes Lexi as a magic wielding former assassin. So yes. I love, I love crime fiction. And so when I read that, I'm like, Oh, that sounds like fun. Because it's not just the typical magic, paranormal, urban fantasy kind of thing. It, it does have like a crime component to it. Yes, that's, um, that's how the books are set out. Um, each, um, I mean, for all of the books, there will be a, a main arc of, um, of, of Lexi trying to discover who she is. Because the organization that she worked for used to brainwash um, parts of their, their history um, mm -hmm. out of them. And, and it started from a, a very early age, so, so it's very sort of cultish. And, um, and I, I think that's how, um, that's how it kind of moves forward with the main arc is, is her um, discovering who she is and where she came from and, and that kind of thing. Then, um, then there's each, um, uh, each book has a, uh, has a case that they're working on. They travel mm -hmm. around. It's um, it's Lexi um, and her her um, sort of business her colleague who um, who is a, a sorcerer mage type person kind of a surfer bum type guy with wavy blonde hair and um, and then uh, but no love interest and uh, and the gay vampire detective Dick and his name's not Dick but she calls him Dick <laughs> um, she discovers that she's got to work with this guy. 
and uh, she's met him before and the last time she saw him she'd clinically decapitated his neck and thrown him into a dumpster in his uh, one of his designer suits so um so it's a bit frosty when they when they meet up again that would do it yeah so yeah. Uh, tell me tell me what do you love about lexi um the snark is is a thing <laughs> uh -huh. definitely and and also uh, i don't know she's um she's a little bit of me but younger better looking uh thinner you know <laughs> but um but in personality um mm -hmm. you know like she will she will very quickly um uh reprimand scott for being childish but then she'll turn turn around and do something childish <laughs> <laughs> you know she's she's just a person at, at the end of the day and and she has a very strong um a very strong feeling about justice and doing the right thing and helping people. So that's, that's definitely, I'm a Libra, so I'm very balanced. I'm not balanced. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know about that. <laughs> You'd be right. You're a, you're a Libra. You talk about being balanced. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that'd be it. <laughs> so, so back before you published your first YA book, mm -hmm. what made you decide that you wanted to write? Um, I'd always done, um, some writing. I don't know. For years, I, I wanted to find, um, my passion, you know, it was, and, and finally, you know, I, I was thinking I'd, I'd like to write, but I don't know. What, what do I care about? What would people, what do I think people would want to read? And, and for some reason, even though for years I'd done little bits of fiction, it it never occurred to me to actually go all the way into fiction. I was thinking, oh, travel writing or hmm. or this or that, but um, but not for some reason fiction. And then I just had the idea for this. I was uh, my motivation for um, for the first series was um, was a David Eddings book, um, the Belgariad. And there's a character in that who can walk through walls, and and that was the um, the the seed that that began the the faders who um, they they're not exactly the same. They uh, they they fade um, slightly out of this dimension, and mm -hmm. and can still walk through walls. <laughs> That's funny though. I mean, you said that there were just the seed of an idea, and from the seed of an idea came a series, a complete series. Yeah, it's not complete yet. I think I've I've done the first trilogy and I've okay. left it I've left it, you know, in such a position that it can be rediscovered by me at a later time. Okay. So was there a seed like this for Legacy of the Shadows Blood or was it just more the conversation that you had with Michael and just kind of bringing it all together? It was it was the conversations really. I mean, like Michael will tell you, I I struggle with um with with plotting you know i'm 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 apparently okay with ca with characterizations um michael described it as phenomenal i just want to say that uh well that <laughs> that should be used in the marketing <laughs> we should have that we should have that in the blurb somewhere i should he, and he did it on video as well <laughs> So I've got a, a recording of him saying, and I've cut it right down to Michael just sitting there going, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I do know that, uh, you know, people that watch this show are, are familiar with the idea of uh, this JIT team that we have, yes. a group of readers who read the books right before they go out. I always go in and, and look at the comments that the JIT, JIT team had, and they were very positive. So that's always a great sign. And yeah. uh, for, for you people who are curious about that, I, we're going to have Kelly O'Donnell on eventually. She keeps saying that, yeah, I'll do it when, <laughs> when I have a good hair day. And so I, I'm not sure when that's going to be, but I'm looking forward to, uh, to bringing that insight to you. So Elaine, congratulations on the first LMBPN book. Um, I noticed uh, very early on that orange bestseller tag. So congratulations on that. Thank and, you very uh, much. Thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, can I just um, let you know that there's a, um, a free uh, download 
which uh, which is a, a prequel to the story which is available um, it's available from um, I'm trying to think where it is. Well, now. we will make it very I've, I've easy and put yes, a link to you that make in it. the show yes, notes. Yes, you do that. So we'll put a link to that in the yes, show notes. Yes, I know you've got it, and it's on my website as well. Yes. Or so, a, yes. a link, a link on my website. Yes. So check that out, and it it, it is as as Elaine said, it's it's a prequel, and then get the book because you're you're going to enjoy this. The start of a a really fun new series. So Elaine. Thanks so much for being here. We will link to your website, but for people who don't read the show notes, who just listen and want to type in the website, what is your URL? My website is egbatemanwrites.com. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Steve.